<clears throat> Hello, good morning, farms. Um, my name is Damian Joseph, popularly known as Jolene Jondel. So, um, very happy to be here this morning in the front of this camera. You know, it's been a while I do this, but, but um, I think I have good news for you. I have good news for you guys, and then I want to share the idea I just got. Um, what I noticed from DJI Jones, you understand? DJI Fly app, actually. So then, um, I know a lot of you out there must have um, have this idea or seen this new feature about the DJI Fly app. It's a really good one. It's a really good one in terms of um, those of us um, who wants to snap pictures, coordinates, and all of that. Because um, you know, during um, pipeline surveillance, like the crude oil pipeline surveillance and stuff like that, most of my fellow pilots out there they would want to snap pictures with coordinates because. That's what really helps the people coming to repair the um, damaged pipelines. You understand? To be able to locate the exact um, location. <clears throat> you understand? So um, I'm here today um, to take you on a full tutorial how you can um, get coordinates from your um, DJI Mavic Air 2 um, pictures. You understand? So the pictures you snapped on your DJI Mavic Air 2, I'm here to take you on a little bit tutorial on how to get the coordinates very appropriately and okay. So let's, without no waste of time, let's just um, slide into the whole chuck stuff. So I'll be taking you, it's going to be more like a screen record something because I don't really have a backup camera you understand, to get the whole stuff done. So I'm going to do a screen record, but then uh, let's take a shot. So let's set up the drone and take a shot and then we will get the whole stuff out so let's 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 go so just turn on the drone without no waste of time i don't want to go through the basic procedures of battery installation and all of that so just take out the gimbal clamp turn on the drone i'm going to launch this drone right here as you can see the drone is turned on so I'm going to launch it right here. I'll take a little bit pictures and the videos of the surrounding. Do you understand? I'll take videos of the surrounding and then I'll do a screen record while taking those videos and pictures. Do you understand? Then I'll bring it back in. I'll bring it back in. Do you understand? Then I'll go to the Fly app. I'll teach you how to do that. How to get the coordinates. Very easy without stress. Do you understand? So, um, I think it's time for us to take off now. But then I'll be risking this a little bit by taking off taking off from here. But then it's no issue for me. But do not try this. If you know you won't be able to control your drug, don't try it. You understand? <laughs> So farms, um, I just took pictures and videos, you understand? So right now, I'm going to take you on the whole tutorial on how to get your coordinates from your DJI Fly app with your Mavic Air 2 drone. I know most of you out there, you have this idea already or you've already seen these, um, these new features about DJI. Like, honestly, it's cool and I think it's, it's a very... Uh, how, how am I going to put this? It's like a work and stress relief for us. You understand? So it's a work and stress relief for us who take pictures and would want coordinates because on the normal process of us getting those coordinates now is once you take your video, uh, you, you export it to your um, VLC on your laptop and then um, you pull out a subtitle. You pull out a subtitle. After pulling out the subtitle, and then uh, you play the video and the subtitle just displays on the screen and you screenshot it. You understand? So those subtitles now is like the video information which carries the latitude and um, other stuff there, which is the GPS and coordinates on the screen. So you just screenshot it. 
that's like a long stress but this way i'm going to take you on now it's so easy you understand it's so easy so um right here what we are going to do now is um we come here so for you to be able to get your coordinates you click here click there's a little button beside where you see the play you click and that's it's going to load it's going to load the images and the pictures you've already taken earlier so you see all the footage right here so it's loading home point updated it's loading so now this is these are the pictures and the videos this is a video i think this is a takeoff video these are the pictures these are the pictures these are the pictures this is the video around the environment but then let's focus on the main thing so here's a picture right here you can see this now right there's no coordinate on it i mean so for you to be able to get this coordinates right now is um you have to save the picture you understand you click on this little download button beside here you save the picture once you save the picture you will see this beside where you save the picture you see more like a box with a little bit white um something you understand so you click on that box okay you're going to see some few details like um the watermark dji mavic air 2 you click on the next one you're going to see something like um 24 mm and then the frames 2.8 and then you see the iso and the shutter speed right there and you still see the watermark there mavic air 2 then you click on the next one there you have the dates which is um you can zoom in let me see if dji fly up soon allow me zoom in okay it's not gonna allow me zoom in and you can zoom into the okay you can check you see below here you see where you have um 2023 december which is 12 then the date is 6 you understand then then you have the north and the east which is the you see the four the four point be zero 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 something i guess you understand this so this is the gps coordinates right there then you see the 24 mm you see the frames and you see the iso and the shutter speed right there and you see the watermark so this is how you get your coordinates on the pictures you snap very easy now this is going to save you a lot of stress without you going to export your videos taking it to your laptop and then playing it via vlc player then you now have to go and add up a subtitle which is the details of the video and then which have to pull out the pull out the the coordinate for you before you be able to screenshot the video and take a picture with the coordinate so this is like saving stress honestly so all thanks to dji for doing this i really appreciate them because it makes my job so easy for me and i'm so happy because i don't have to take my footages to my laptop on vlc to be able to get my coordinates anymore all i just do is i snap all the best pictures i can snap and then i come and export them to my phone so i could have this once i export them then i have this now so, sorry once i save them to my phone then i'll be able to have this other one with the gps so now i can have this one with the gps coordinate then i'll have to export it to my phone so you see now it's been saved so i'll come back here this has already exported itself so you can see i save it to my phone I, so I exported it to my phone so you can see this has already saved by itself and now i click on this it gives me the gps um, coordinates there this is just like a transparent watermark watermark you understand so i can now export it with the coordinates to my phone so you see work easy but then don't expect to get this coordinates on on your on, on the video because it's not going to be it's not going to be on the video at all it's not going to be on the video it's only for pictures so i really appreciate dji for this it's a really saving stress for me and easy job done to go so thank you dji thank you so much i really appreciate you guys so farms for those of you that don't have this idea at least you can learn from here and then it's going to make your job more easy but then i don't know about other series of drones but i'm sure i just sure about the dji mavic air 2 but then i'm looking forward to check on other series of drones that uses the dji fly app but then if your fly app isn't doing this i think it's advisable you are going to um upgrade to the latest version of the application that's when you'll be able to get this stuff done so thank you farms thank you very much